Today we're going to do a little quick bit about solar wiring. This is a solar panel, 230 watts. Uh, you're just going to hitch it up to the solar charge control unit, which is this. And that's a 30... That's a 30 amp, 12 or 24 volts. So the idea is to hitch it up to the battery and then that will run, run our electric French unit for the chickens to keep the chickens in and keep the foxes out, keep the foxes out predominantly. So what I've done already, we've got our solar control unit here. Uh, just put 16 mil wire, solar wire, in. So just plug, plumbing them into the bottom. So you have them two coming out for the solar panels, plus and minus. And then you attach these. These are what's on the solar panel at the present moment. So when you're putting them on, you have two different sizes. To this, so it's a, a put a so the red positive goes to a negative, which is a smaller one, and then that would be that. So that's the positive line coming in from the solar panel, that would be the negative neutral going out, uh, and then charges into the battery. Just got to do one more this you just got little screw holes in the front you can see and you put them in underneath and just clamp them up tight so this is quite a good one we've got another one which isn't uh, doesn't have such big holes so we've got quite thick wire here which is oh, it's a four mil four mil squared wire and yeah, so we can get the wires in, there's plenty of room to get that four mil in there. Uh, I'll finish it all off and then I'll show you working. So all we do is crimp the ends onto there, the small one and the larger ones. So this is a, a T4, which is a negative. So you just push that, crimp it, onto the wire, you can either solder it as well, uh, and just push it on, and then push the bit to make it waterproof, and tight fit, and just screw it up, ever so simple. We do that with that for the positive, and we do that for the negative, already done the same, this is a larger diameter bit, try to remember which way around they should go. So this is a positive one. The important thing to remember is you need to connect your battery first before you connect it to the solar panels. Otherwise you'll blow up your solar charge controller. This isn't an MPPT, it's just a very cheap one uh, which will do be enough for our stop fencing. So, just hitch it up to the panels. Negative. And then onto the positive. Make sure they're tight. And the battery is reading 11 volts, which is a bit flat while we're doing it kill the battery a bit too much uh, and then all you do is just plug it straight into put the negative first on the back of the solar panels it will say which way round make sure it's clean just clip them in there is a special tool to pull them apart if, you, if it works Make sure you've done the clips up tight. 
है Just connected it up. We had to disconnect this solar panel wire once we've connected it to the battery, uh, and then we re put the solar panel wire back in, and it's now showing solar panel use. So it's now charging the solar panel into the into the battery, then into an energy. It's got no energy going in, so what we'll do is put the solar panel, the electric fence on, just plug plug the leads in like that and like that, and then that's working on the electric fence. It's clicking away, so that will work all day, all night. You'll store enough energy in in the batteries for the night time. Right. Hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching. This is 